Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Welcome to Shin's Family Martial Arts Presents, Sir Dale and his art. Today we're going to be drawing Toby the Tiger. So, first thing we got to go do is make sure you have your paper set up. Boom, set up. Once you got that, just in case your mom wants to frame it, we should probably set up where we're going to be drawing. So I'm going to use this ruler right here and measure out where I want. Let's see. Let's do the first one right there. There. And here. 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 And here. Cool. You probably can't see it on here, but I have a nice square that goes from here all the way to there. The first thing we're gonna go do is drawing Toby. So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out where we're gonna be on this little picture right here. Um, and the best way to do it is to draw a very light gesture drawing. So let's see, what's a good pose? Sir Ryan, you got a good pose? Yeah, how about that where he's showing his guns, yeah? So, I'm going to just draw a little light, you right there, and a straight line. Well, I wonder if you guys can see that. Not really. Here, Ryan, why don't you zoom in on the, on the paper? How's everyone been doing? Good? Yeah? They can type if they want, and I'll, and I'll tell you what they're saying. Mm. All right. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use this. Can you guys see this blue better? Maybe not. I'll try and draw a little light. Okay. Can you guys see that black? You guys can see that black. All right. So I'm going to use this black. I usually don't use black, but today, since you guys can't see, I'm going to use black. So I'm going to draw a light you. Just like that. And then I'm gonna draw a straight line. That's where his body's gonna be. I'm gonna draw his legs right around there. Very good. So that's what he's gonna be doing, okay? You won't see that when you uh, when we're finished coloring. Today we're just gonna set up the drawing today, all right? So, ooh, can you flip that around? Yes. Sweet. Ryan's our uh, magic guy. All right, so we got that part down. First thing we're gonna go do after that is draw the body. So we're just gonna draw a giant circle. He's kind of got a chubs, no? I believe Toby's got a chub. So we're gonna draw a circle just like that. Wonderful. And then we're gonna draw his head. And I believe he's got a round head too, so we're just gonna draw a nice round head like that. Very good. So it should look like a snowman or a beetle. You guys got that down? Very cool. And then we're gonna go draw his arms, okay? There's his elbow right there. We're gonna put his elbows right around here. We're gonna draw a line right through here. And a line right through here. And remember, it doesn't have to look perfect, okay? When it comes to art, there's no mistakes, there's no rules, just guidelines. So you're gonna draw a line right over here. Should be good. And then I'm gonna put a little bump right here. You guys see that little bump? That's for his shoulder. All right, now we're gonna go draw his forearm. So it's kind of like a triangle shape. Like that. There you go. And if it looks off, don't even worry about it because we can always change it later. So I have the circle. And then the circle right here, and I have some lines going right here, lines going right there, lines going right there, and it's there, 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 there. All right? I'll give you some time. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw another circle right around here. Very cool. That's where his hips are gonna be. That way he knows how to rotate his hips when he does his roundhouse kicks. 
All right, so get a good circle there. And then we're gonna add another line right here. There you go. Line right there, one line right there, one line right there, and another line right here, and another line right here. See where that top of the circle hits this line right here? That's where you can start this line. And if you want to start right here, I don't care. Very cool. All right, there is his legs. Now we're gonna draw a little squiggly line downwards for his calf. One right there. There you go. A squiggly line right here and a squiggly line right there. There you go. Should be too bad. All right, cool. Now we're going to add a little bubble right there for his feet. Just a little round circle right here. Half circle. One right here for the other side. There you go. Cool. Now we're gonna round it out right around here. See where this line is? Instead of going right here, we're gonna go the opposite direction. And on this side, right here where it gets round, we're gonna go inwards. We're gonna thin them out a bit. We don't want them too chubby. There you go. Very good. Now we're gonna go right around here and we're gonna draw a circle. That's it, just a circle. That's gonna be his fist, and we're gonna make it look more like a fist later. We just wanna get the overall shape. Okay. Smooth out that line. Very cool. So far, it looks like a Ninja Turtle. I know, I know, I know. But we're gonna fix it up later. So once we got that down, let's give him a little next. Just add two lines right here. Very good. You guys got that? So, this is what we did so far. We made a circle for the head, circle for the body. We added some lines right here and right here. A line right here and line right here. Same with right here. We got the two circles. We rounded out the body, made them a little thinner. We added a squiggle here, a squiggle there, and another line here and another line there. We added a foot. And that's all we have so far. Oh yeah, and the two necklines. All right, now that we got that, we're gonna draw. I'm just gonna clean up this edge right here. Now we're gonna draw the ears. Now, you guys can make two different kinds of versions of the ears. You can kind of have it round like Toby does, or you can make it pointed, more like a cat. Okay, that's more of a triangle, this is more of a round shape. I'm gonna go for the round shape. Got it so far? If you need more time, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. There, okay, got a lot of thumbs. Everyone doing good today? Who woke up late? Who is that? Michaela woke up late. Anyone else wake up late? Samantha, Jenna did. Jace did. All right. Hi, Jace. Jason. Where's JC? JC, can, can you see me? Ah, there he is. Awesome. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's add a tail, okay? For a ta He's gonna look like Mickey Mouse in a minute. We're gonna add a little swoop right there. We're gonna fill in the rest. That way we know where uh, he's gonna be. Very cool. All right, let's flesh him out a bit. Ray, Ray, would you mind doing me a huge favor and turning, Toby's off camera right now. He's right over there. He's kind of shy about being a model right now. He's been holding this pose for about 10 minutes. His arms are, are getting really sore. Perfect, all right. Thank you, Sir Ryan. Here you go. Yeah, give him some water too. Toby, stay still. All right, very good. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go find the middle. We're gonna make an X right through right there. Very light. So remember, everything's light right now. Don't go hard, otherwise it's gonna be hard to color on top of it. So be very light. I'm only going hard so that way you guys can see, but try and do a very faint line that way. And then you're gonna make a little heart right in the middle. Okay? Right there. Very cool. And then on top of the heart, at the very top, the tip right here, and the tip right here, you're gonna draw a line across. Very cool. And then you guys are gonna draw a line. You see, you, you see where uh, that line in the middle is? You're gonna draw from the tip of the heart to the top right here, right around here. You don't, you don't have to go all the way to the top, but you can if you want. So it's kind of like a teepee. So you have two triangles. A triangle pointing down and a triangle pointing up. You guys see this triangle, the bottom triangle? Very cool. All right. Very good. Everyone show me your art right now. Hold it up to the camera and I can help you out a bit. Ah, oh, that's really good, guys. That's really good stuff. I'm looking into the camera right now. Keep holding it up. Xander, that looks good. John, that looks good. Mason, uh, very good. Olive, hold it up. Hold it up, Olive. Nice, very good. Jenna, beautiful. Very good, Diego. All right, nice close. Very good, everyone. Good job, Cohen. All right, so let's move on. Let's make the lines just a little bit darker. Not too dark. Don't go too hard. And don't be like this on your paper. Step back. If you try drawing like this and then you step back, it's gonna look weird. So make sure you're kind of far back. All right, so I'm gonna draw this line right here, just making it a little darker, and I can smooth it out. It doesn't have to be a straight line. You can kind of make it a curve to get the muscles. See how my arm isn't a straight line, it kind of bumps out. So you can add a little bump right there. Add a little bump right here. If you want, you can give them big muscles, or you can make them kind of skinny right here. There's your shoulder, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna draw a line right here, kind of rounding it out. All right, right here, I kind of try and do a little shape like that. Very good, right there. All right, right here, I'm gonna make it a little darker so I can see it better. There you go. You guys got that. And now, right around here, you see where the top of that bottom circle that you guys made? I'm gonna make a shape like this. That's where his belt is. How many stripes does he have now? Let me see. One, two, three, is that four? My eyesight's not. You guys know I wear glasses, so I can't see really well. Sir Ryan, how many, how many stripes does Toby have right now? Is it four? On his belt? Yes, he has four, okay. Gosh, guys, I need to get laser surgery on my eyes. All right, Toby, stay still. Gosh, I know your arms are getting tired. Toby, you're flipping it around. Oh, I'm flipping sure. around. Yeah, that's three stripes. All right, we're gonna draw three stripes later. So you're gonna go draw a line right there, another line right here at the bottom. That's where his belt's gonna be. We're gonna do it really light. And then I'm gonna draw a line right here. I'm gonna just smooth it out. If you think that Toby needs to do a lot of leg work, it means he's not working out so much, you can make his legs not as muscly. But if you think he's been working out pretty well and you can see some muscle, go ahead and give it a few bumps. Where's muscles? Let me go like that. All right. And now it's a little bit darker. Cool. I'm gonna make the hard part darker. make his nose darker, and we're gonna make his top triangle darker. All right, time for the eyes. So, let's see. You guys can draw any kind of eyes that you want. I'm gonna draw just normal eyes. 
and it's just a circle. Circle there, and a circle here. There you go. And if you want, you could add a tongue right here. Usually, if you, if you take class, you probably know that he has his mouth always open. He never closes it. All right, cool. Let's see. Now we're going to just draw a line right through the middle. Right there. We could put stuff in the background. That, that way we know exactly where he is. So this is going to be the ground. This is going to be the sky. All right. Very cool. All right, now on Toby, he has that white spot right on his belly, so we could draw that right now. Now, you guys could draw an oval, like that, or you guys can draw kind of a rounded, upside down square, where it's really wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Okay? It'll make him look thinner. Okay? So I'm going to go choose this one. So I'm just going to put a line right here at the top, a line at the bottom, and I'm going to just connect the corners together. Very good. Now we got his muscles going. Okay. All right, let's finish the tail. So, just follow the line on top of it. Same exact way. You can make his tail go like that, or you can make it into a squiggle. It's up to you. You could even put a bow on it later. All right, now that we got that down. Very cool. All right, I think we should start with the colors, huh? So, so far, that's what you got. You got the basic outline. Now, it might look scratchy. That's okay. The color's gonna cover it up, all right? It's gonna cover it right up. So, what I like to do first is I like to, uh, to color in the sky. To find a medium blue, you're gonna need three blues, okay? I use pastels. It makes things way easier, and it's like finger painting. But you could use anything you want. So. Let's see what we got here. Find a medium blue. And what's cool about this border, no one's going to see it when, when they frame it. So you can test all your colors right here. So this is going to be my medium blue. Actually, you know what? That's going to be my dark blue. This will be my medium blue. And this will be my light blue. Okay, all right, so let's, where's my medium blue? Right there. So, with the medium blue, just color in the sky. Get it in there pretty good. My phone went off, I'm in trouble. For you older kids, who here's got in trouble for their phone going off in school? So Darth got busted. Who is that? Sammy got busted. Anyone else get busted? Sir Ryan got busted. Michaela's gotten in trouble. She got grounded. Very cool. So, get, from what I hear, I hear Toby's uh, gonna get a new trainer. Isn't that what Sir uh, uh, Grandmaster Shin said? That's what they were saying. I think, I think they were picking him up from the airport yesterday. Picking him for the airport? I think so. He's from Oklahoma, right? That's what I heard. Hmm. Anyone got any, uh, watch any new uh, shows on TV? No? What did you guys watch? Type it in. I need new shows to watch. All right. And if you have pastels, you can smooth that out with your finger. This is hard. I need more blue. I need more blue. By the way, we're not going to finish this today. 
okay? Because art takes time. There's no time limit, but art takes time, especially if you want it to look perfect. So don't be sad if you didn't finish today. I'm not gonna finish today. We're gonna pick this up later in the week. This is how it usually works. If you look outside right now, you'll notice that when you look at the sky, it's darker at the top, and then towards the mountains, or the, where the ground is, it's gonna be a lot lighter. It goes from light, medium, to dark. You could look out your window right now if you don't believe me. Olive's outside right now, so she's just looking up. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so take your light blue. Your light blue right there. And you want to just color right at the bottom. Right here. You can blend it together. All right, and if you have pastels, we're gonna be using a lot of pastels in this class. You can blend it together. See that? It's starting to look like the real deal. A little more blue right here. Wonderful. See how it fades right there? Okay, very cool. See how it kind of fades to lighter? It's gonna make your, your drawing pop a lot better, a lot more. Right. You can smooth it out. If you got a lot of dust on there, you can give it a good blow. There you go. Smoothing it up, smooth it up. There you go. Okay, get your dark blue. That's, nope, that's my medium blue. I think this is my dark blue. There you go. Go ahead and start coloring in the top. We could add clouds later. I think we will do that. We'll add clouds later. First, you want to get the main colors on there. Once you're done, go ahead and smooth it out. If you don't have anything like this, like pastels, you could always just scratch it at the top. Okay, so watch. I'm not going to blend it in, but I'm going to go really close together with the lines. And then I'm going to go lighter. And then lighter. And then lighter. See how it looks like it's kind of fading? You can always do that if you don't have uh, pastels up one. Like if you have, well, if you only have markers, that's fine. It's okay if they don't have the same exact colors as you, right, Sir Dale? Yeah, you could, you could, you could totally use a different sky. You could make a purple sky. Sometimes the sky is purple, you know. So just use a light purple, a medium purple, and a dark purple. Or you can have like a sunset. You can have orange. You could have dark orange or red, and then you could use yellow at the bottom. Just keep in mind, Toby, Toby is orange, so you don't want him to disappear into the sunset. Pun intended. Do you guys like that? All right, 
There you go. And if you go outside the lines, that's okay, because we're going to frame it later. Okay? It doesn't matter. Very cool. You can even make it rounded. Right there. Let me blend it together so it looks like it's... Yeah. Notice the difference? Here, I'll make this part darker. All right. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the ground. I'm going to make them on grass, so I'm going to use green, okay? This is our first class. We don't have to go crazy. So, find a medium green, a light green, and a dark green, okay? So, let's see what I got. Here's my light. Here's my medium. Here's my dark. Oh, wait. Is that the same color? It's okay if it's the same color because I could always make it darker with other colors. So, this is what I want you to do. Take your medium green and color in the uh, grass. Not the glass, the grass. Okay? Don't color in Toby yet. We're going to get to him later. Some people like to outline them so that way they have a border. Don't worry about it if you don't. Again, there's no rules to this. Oh, I'm in trouble. Did you guys hear that? Does anyone here know who Bob Ross is? Yeah. Who here knows who Bob Ross is? Jutton does, Michaela does. Oh, you guys all know who Bob Ross is? The guy with the afro? Okay, something about artists and weird hair, right? He has an afro, I got this long snake thing. Should I bring a snake the next time I do this? Should I bring my boa? Raise your hand if I should bring my boa next time. I think I might. I think I'll bring my boa. Goodness. If you've already finished, do me a favor. Type in your favorite animal. Oh, I'm green. Type in your favorite animal right now. I'm just curious what to know uh, what everyone's favorite animal is. I'll get ideas that way. A fox? A fox? A dolphin? A dolphin? A fox? What kind of fox? What kind of dolphin? Mountain goats, dog. Mountain goats. They're delicious. No, I'm just kidding. A dog? What kind of dog? A giraffe. An Arctic fox. An Arctic fox. And a giraffe. Toby is her favorite. Toby is Chloe's favorite animal. What kind of animal is Toby? He's a party animal, right? A cat, a great white shark. A great white shark! Man, that was, that's my favorite shark. T-Rex. T-Rex! Awesome. Sloth bears. Sloth bear? What's a sloth bear? An octopus. Octopus! A wolf and a snow leopard. Ooh, wolf and snow leopard. A lion. Have you guys ever seen these animals? Like at the zoo? Except for the shark, you've probably seen it on a boat, but anyone else? No, no one? Hmm? A fluffy bear. A fluffy bear. has flaws. Is a sloth, like a sloth. Well, I know what a sloth is, but what's a sloth bear? A bottlenose dolphin. A bottlenose dolphin and a sloth. You know what sloths are afraid of, I found out? They're afraid of hawks. Hawks and eagles. Did you guys know that? All right. I'm just smoothing it out right now. Now, Ryan, how long does it take for this to get back on the YouTube? Today. Today? This will be on YouTube? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So if you missed out, if, I, if I'm going too fast, go to Shin's black belt 
And make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. You could, you could follow that and you could stop me and you could slow down myself on that YouTube video, okay? Right now we're just live, but if you miss something, you can always catch the same exact program on YouTube, okay? All right, so you got the green in, okay? It looks pretty good. Take your light green. Now, remember how I said the rules, usually the guidelines of the uh, sky, it goes at the bottom light to dark. Well, when it comes to the ground, usually that's where you want it light, okay? And the reason why is this is, this is right where the sun rises. So it's usually lighter right here, and then as you go higher, it goes darker into space, okay? So when it comes to the ground, the closer to the light one, uh, the, the lighter part is gonna make it lighter, okay? So try and get your light green as close as you can to the horizon line, all right? Oh, it's really popping now, I like the screen. Okay, and we're gonna get the blades of grass in there later, all right? And we could add mountains if you want, but when it comes to that stuff, the details, you wanna get to that later. We just wanna fill in the main colors, and then blend it in. Blend it in. Now when you're completely done with this whole project that we're doing together, I want you guys to bring this to Shins, okay? We're gonna hang it up on the walls, all right? This is, this is when everything goes back to normal. I want you guys to bring this. I wanna see everyone's artwork. In fact, in the meantime, everyone show me what you got so far. What do you guys have? Whoa, very good stuff. All right, Chloe, very good. What else do we, Jay, wow. Look at that, hold it up. I'm gonna have the camera come in right now. Take a picture of that. Whoa, that is some good work. Let's see, what do we got here right now? Jason, very good, so dark, fun, oh wow. Charlotte! There you go, Olive, very good. Jace, very good. JC, let me see, JC. Yeah, all right, very good, guys, this is good stuff. All right. You guys can't see me when I'm looking, can you? Mason, I wanna see what you're drawing. Mason, hold it up. <laughs> All right, that looks good. That looks good, guys. Great work, keep it up. All right, so keep finishing the, the, the light part of the green, okay? You can keep going over and over you want. We're just gonna assume he's in a little valley. Smooth it in, now take your dark green. Now from what I found, by the way, these are my pastels. As you can see, I've used them over the years. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of slim pickings right now. So I think my dark green might be all used up. That's a possibility. So if that's the case, if that's the case, the opposite of green is red. So I'm gonna get my red. So if you have a dark green, good for you. If you don't, you can do what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab my red uh, and I'm gonna lightly just adding color right here, just very lightly. Very, very lightly. Okay, and I'm not fading it right now. I'm just trying to make it darker. Very light, very, very light. Okay, see how it kind of looks? If you look at it and you kind of squint, it kind of looks like a dark green. This is where I blend. Okay, so that's one thing that you need to know is the opposites of colors. So if you go online and look up a color wheel, which looks like a pie chart, the, color, the opposite side of the color is its opposite. And the opposite of green, because I went to art school, is red, and that's how I know. That's one of the things that make you learn is the color wheel. You gotta learn the opposites. Does anyone know the, the primary colors, the main colors that you can't make by mixing? All right, I'm gonna tell you this if you don't know. 
It's yellow, red, and blue. You can't mix any colors together to get those colors. They're just stuck like that, okay? You can make green. We all know how to make green. You can make orange. You can make red. You can, no, you can't make red. You can make uh, orange. You can make purple. You can even make brown, okay? Brown's easy. If, you, if you're not sure, it's just orange and purple, okay? And how do you make purple? Blue and red. How do you make orange? Red and yellow. Okay, mix all those until you get brown. That's how you get brown. For right now, we're just making it darker. You add a little bit more orange, just go light. Or, did I say orange? I meant red. Just go light, make it fade, okay? And that's what you do if you don't have dark green. All right? The next time, when we finish this, we're gonna do a marker episode. So if you guys have markers, and you're struggling right now, don't worry. I'm gonna do a marker episode and you're gonna, sh you're gonna do great, all right? So for right now, we're just doing pastels because this is the easiest one that I got. All right, we got that. Okay. Here we go. You got it to fade, all right? And you can always touch up later, like, see how I have a light spot right here in my sky, and right here it kind of gets rounded out. That's fine. Don't worry about that. We can always fix that later. Anything, everything's fixable. Uh, all right. I think we should start on Toby, yeah? All right, all right. Ooh, before we start on Toby, grab, grab your black or your pencil or whatever, and make two lines go right there. That's where we're gonna have this belt. Just put on, you can put a little knot right there, it's fine. All right, cool. And here's the cool thing about the sky and the ground. If you do this to any of your drawings right now, it's gonna make it pop. It's gonna just add another dimension, so. If there's one thing that you learned today, it's the sky. It goes dark, darker at the, at the top, lighter on the ground. And when it comes to the ground, it's lighter at the top, darker on the bottom, all right? Okay, so grab your orange. Let's color them in, yeah? So go ahead and fill it in. Remember that white spot? I'm just gonna start there. Fill it in right here. And fill it in right here. Very good. There's his body. All right, and let's go on to the arms. So if you had a pencil or something right now, your pastel or whatever you're using can go over that line. Now it's kind of covering it up. See how it's kind of disappearing right now? And if you cover that black, even better. Because if you look at real life, no one has an outline. I don't have an outline right now. So don't even worry about it. All right, cool. I'm gonna go do the other arm. What do you guys think? Should we get a model next time? Should we get someone to pose right uh, the next time we do this with the marker episode? Should we get someone to just sit there in a chair, like Sir Eddie or something like that, or Sir Ryan, in a costume? 
like a ninja costume or a Fortnite costume and we draw that. Yeah, I said Fortnite. I've never played it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I have no idea what that game is. I think you just shoot people, right? That's it? It's just a shooting game? That's it? Yeah? I don't know. Diego reminded you it's forbidden. That's why. <laughs> oh, gosh. Who here still plays Minecraft? Show of hands. Luke Smelzer just said Minecraft is better. Minecraft. Okay. Who here plays Animal Crossing right now? Diego. Who here plays... Who here doesn't play that much video games? Raise your hand if you don't play that much video games. Really? You guys, you two? Oh, you three? Close. Four, five? Oh, okay. I don't play that many video games either. You know what I spend all my time on? Outdoors, in the wilderness, or watching a lot of Netflix. All right. Once you got that in there, you guys could smooth it in. All right. What's the time? All right, we got time, we got time. And remember, we're not gonna finish today. We're gonna finish the rest later. All right. Okay, and I want you guys to practice at home. So when you're done with this, go find, oh, you guys got class, huh? After class, I want you to go find something, anything that you want to draw, like an apple, roll a toilet. Roll a toilet paper is very easy, okay? You can practice the whole dark and light thing, all right? There's my tail right there. I'm going to draw my head. Don't color in the eyes yet. We got his ears, his forehead, his cheeks. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add detail later. Okay. Once you got that in there, go ahead and smooth it out. Someone's calling me. <laughs> Should I answer it? I'm not gonna answer it. <laughs> All right. So, we're gonna smooth that out. Do, 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 do. You know what it was? Okay, so, so raise your hand if you know I catch snakes. Some lady's calling me right now. She has a snake in her yard. She wants me to go get it right now. It says it's a rattlesnake. Should I get it? Look how many people want me to die. <laughs> Chloe's the only one who wants me to live. <laughs> My goodness. Give it a good blow. <laughs> All right, so therefore, this is what you got. Do me a favor, we're gonna, what time we have? We got a little more time? We have time? All right, we got time. We'll keep going, we'll keep going. Just keep coloring in the orange. You can cover up the black spots of your line. That's what I'm doing right now. He didn't ask, how do you make it look like a fist? How do you make it look like a fist? Yeah, this. Okay. Well, I was gonna make it into a, uh, da -da 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 -da, into like paws, you know? But if you wanna make it like a fist, this is the best way to, this is how I do it, and all my teachers are okay with it. Take a picture of your fist the way you want it, with your camera, and then just hold right there. If you look at a lot of paintings, no one's gonna really notice, like that one's this person's hand, this is another person's hand. All you gotta do is just make the general shape, and the fist, hold on. Where's my black? All right, I'm gonna put this away for a minute. A fist, it's just a circle, and then, I got my fist right here, and I kind of round it out to the edges. So I kind of make a square. If you look at a fist, it's kind of like a, like, a, like a cube. So I make a circle, and then I make a cube. Right there. And then I add a little bump for the thumb. 
All right. I'm going to add the lines right here. And then it curls right here. If you look, it curls right there. Add a line right there. You don't have to follow a line. This is for, who am I doing this for? Well, Caden just asked about the fist. Oh, Caden, yeah. Awesome. So you got right there, and then you have your thumb right here. So you can apply that. That's that's my best advice on making a fist. Okay. And then you can have the shading. And these there. You can add some knuckles by giving it a few circles and then coloring over those lines. See how it kind of looks more like a fist? Each time I add more detail and deep, uh, over and over again. So that's how you can get a good fist, okay? All right, back to this. Before we sign off, this is what I, I want you guys to do, okay? And keep in mind, if you just use black and you start shading it in into a lighter color, you're gonna ruin your drawing. You're gonna have to recolor it. So just keep that in mind. You should probably wash your hands when you have this much pastel, okay? So, all right, you got your orange in there. The last thing we're gonna go do is take your black or whatever and figure out where you want the sun to come from, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw an X right here. Okay? You don't have to do it, just remember where you put the sun. So that way when we come back and we finish coloring it in, we're gonna have the light shining down this way, okay? If you look, if you look, See how the light is shining this way? We're gonna put all the light part right here and all the darker sh shadows that way, okay? So, you just, you don't have to write an X right here if you didn't make a border, just know where you're gonna put the sun. I'm gonna put mine right here, all right? That way we're gonna get the lighter parts right there. Uh, for the fist, I was gonna get to that detail a lot later. Um, we'll, we'll go over that in the next class. How much time we got, Ryan? Five minutes. Five minutes? We got plenty. What am I tripping on time for? All right, we're going to keep going. All right, so add the orange right here. Add some orange right there. Add some orange right there. Now, grab your... Hmm. You know what? Let's, let's do it right now. Grab your dark orange. Grab your dark orange. I don't have dark orange. So I'm going to use red. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use brown. I'm gonna use a very light brown. I'm gonna use a light brown. And you're gonna to go to each part of the body and you're gonna color in the darker spots. So if the light's coming right here, if the light's coming right here, it should be darker on this side. So let's pick this leg, right? So if the sun's coming right there, it should be darker on this side and lighter right here. So I'm gonna take my brown I'm gonna take my brown, I'm just gonna color in just like we did with the fade. I'm gonna go left to right. On your screen, it's probably, no, it's left. There you go. I'm just gonna make it darker. All right, and it's gonna make it look like it's 3D. On this side, I'm gonna blend it in. All right. All right, there, you got that part done. Now we're gonna go the other side, same thing. Here's the sun, so that means that it's gonna be lighter on this side and darker on this side. Same with the feet. Oh, awesome. It's gonna be darker on this side. So I'm just gonna add a little one right there. There you go, smooth that out. 
right here, it's going to be darker on this side and lighter on this side. So it's dark here. Get it right here. Make it a little darker. There you go. Toby, stay still. He's still posing off camera. He's getting itchy. He wants to join the fun. Ryan, can you scratch his nose? <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we got the legs. Okay, so just remember, it's darker here, darker here. All right, that's all I did. We haven't finished, so save this for Thursday. Thursday. All right, very good job. Let me see before we go. Let me see what you guys have. Whoa, look at that. Guys, this is how you get better at, uh, at ideas. You guys got to hold them up. But also look at other everyone else's artwork, okay? It's not it's not good to just look at mine and yours. Look at everyone. So that way you get ideas, all right? Looks good. Yeah, interact. Very good stuff. Guys, thumbs up. Someone put a red mat on there. Who is that? Diego? So you made him inside the studio? Add a boy. Very good. All right, guys. Very good job. Make sure you click and subscribe on Shin's Black Belt uh, on YouTube. So that way, if you miss the part, uh, you can catch up on that. Very good work. And it's gonna drop down on tomorrow. Stay safe, stay clean, um, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.